Hey, g'day people, it's Matt here from Matt Carve. So we are carving the final part of the Fairy House. You see there a little bit of a glimpse. And if you guessed right, well, I am carving a tree. Right in there. And look at that, there's a crack there. Gotta watch out for that. Not a good crack. A bad crack. But if you know about the cracks, you can sort of like work around them and make your design sort of to fit around uh, problems in the wood. So there I'm using the, what is that? It's a finger sander, or one sander. It's very cool. There's that crack, so I can sort of see. And the back of the wood is a little bit, you know, mm, iffy. I think, I, you know, the one sander is good for erasing pencil marks you don't want, or sharpening your pencil. It's also very good for carving. Here is the tree. So what my idea? My idea is to cut the negative spaces out on the scroll saw. It's going to be a bit challenging, but I have got a plan. So I'm going to cut out this first bit, which is pretty hard. And then I'm going to lower down each limb and sort of cut on the scroll saw as I go up. So essentially I'm not going to be cutting the whole thickness of the wood, just the thickness of the branch I have just carved. So I'm going to carve that branch there and then I'm going to cut above it with the scroll saw. So I'm not cutting that whole thickness. Oh, I've got a new tool. Check it out. It's no good for this carving. Uh, I've got to carve bigger carvings, obviously, to use that tool. Anyway, back to the carving. So I am using the little terrier that I've used before. Hey, and always wear eye protection and all those other kind of protections. But you can see here... Especially with that little Dremel, it like sends up little teeny little bits that go straight into your eye and you don't want that. I kind of enjoy my eyes so I'm going to try and hold on to them for as long as I possibly can. Okay so I marked in everything with the Vivid, it seemed to like stand out a little bit more so I could see what I was actually doing. And uh, I'm going to use a smaller scroll saw blade. Check out the thicknesses of those. So, yeah, the one on the right I'm going to use. So, yeah, it made it a lot easier. Go around those little corners. And because that wood is a little bit thinner there, it's uh, not struggling as much. Okay, so once you've carved one branch, you've, well, you've kind of carved them all, really. They're all kind of the same, uh, just going different directions. So the next part of this is I'm, I'm doing the sort of surface of it, and I'm using cutter burrs, and I want to do sort of like the effect of bark, so that's why the cutter burrs. And with cutter burrs, you want to just, especially on hardwood, is just go really, really lightly, and it's sort of kind of like plane off that top layer, get a lot of rid of a lot of those scratches and all of that kind of stuff and hopefully it's going to look a little bit like bark. Hey so what do you guys think of an idea of doing some fairy doors and I'm going to put them in the forest out the back of our house because what we had happen there was there was a big forest fire 
and it looks terrible out there there's all stumps and all they've all cut down all the trees and i thought i'd make it a little bit fun out there and put some fairy doors in some of the stumps and uh brighten the place up a little bit <laughs> go around the back Money, go around the back yeah that's the story Money, sit uh, look at that picture i a retreat for that. There you go, bunny. Let's go to the beach, eh? Come on. Okay, so just giving it a final stand there, and I'm going to put on some of that Georgian mahogany black wax stain. Not stain. Black wax. Black bison wax. It's quite hard to open, actually. And remember to like and subscribe, that'd be awesome. It helps the channel out and helps me get a few more subscribers, I think. Well, maybe. Who knows?